uh, a list of activities like this one over here in which you have to draw the network. Let's understand that list of activity first. If you go for the list of activity here first, uh, you, we have in that column all the activities. Here we have the description. And here, which is the preceding activity. So for activity A, that is application approval, there is no preceding activity. For activity B, that is construction plans, we have a preceding activity that is activity A. It means that activity A must finish before we start activity B. Okay? That's the way we read that, uh, that, uh, uh, that network. Let's try now um, and draw. So from the activity list, let's draw the project network here. Let's draw the project network. So how do you do we approach that project network? We start with the drawing with the activity that has no preceding activity. So the first activity that we draw in the on the on the whiteboard will be the activity with no preceding activity, which is activity A. Yes, A is the first activity of the project because there is no preceding activity. In some projects, you can have more than one uh, activity without a preceding activity, and that's okay. You put all of them here, okay? Then, what are the activities that have A as a preceding activity? As a preceding activity. B, C, and D. Yes, thank you. So, and I'll be putting here, when you are drawing a project network, we have to think about an imaginary timeline. Okay? And the idea of the diagram is to give a visual representation of the project sequence. So, we try, we try to draw the activities in a certain way in which you can see the sequence okay, of the project. So if you talk about activities B, C, and D, they are, they are after activity, activity A. So in the activity list, you, 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 we can see that activity B has A as a preceding activity. Activity C has A as a preceding activity. We say that A is a predecessor of B, A is a predecessor of C, A is the predecessor of D. Okay? What is next? Let's now start with a pick activity B. What are the activities that have B as a preceding activity? Hmm? E, E and F. So let's put E here. E and F. Okay, so E and F. And then what's happened? So in activity C, which one for the activity C? So C or oh, E, activity E has B and C as a preceding uh, task. Activity F has B, C, G. So activity F has B, C, and D as a preceding activity. Yes, yeah, so and after, now we have activity G. So activity G is after activity F. And then we have activity H, activity H, activity H is, has G, 
and E as preceding activity. So we just draw and let's present you the AON network. Say hello to them, AON network. Guys, say hello to the AON network, okay? That is the AON diagram, activity on node diagram. Hello network, okay guys. <laughs> okay, and, and, and that is how we, we move from the activity list, from the activity list to the project network. So we did that transformation from activity list to a project network. Looking to a list, you don't have any idea of the project sequence. But when you go for the network, you have an idea how the execution will be done during the project. Okay?